One of the reasons that Train has really decided to get an, into a focused initiative and, and really focus on lighting is because lighting and HVAC are so similar. They, they both have impact on the comfort and the flexibility of buildings in ways that people don't necessarily even realize. And so in the HVAC industry, most of us, you know, we'll walk around spaces and we'll notice the different systems that may be in buildings. We'll notice thermostats, we'll notice controls on the wall. In the lighting industry, lighting is very visible for pretty much anyone who walks into this space. With static lighting, which we used to have, you, you, you bought a light and it came with one color temperature and that's all you got and you were stuck with it. And LEDs today have the ability to do so much more than that. And so we're really about to step into the, the future. So HVAC and lighting combined constitute about 70% of building energy in a non-residential space. Like, you know, when you start to think about the smart building and the smart campus and the smart city of the future, that all really is starting to tie these systems together and intelligently make decisions utilizing that information, sharing that information so that we can do different things.